it is Jay with Earthly Kisses. Hi guys! Uh, this will be my first video in my new soap room. Um, trying to figure out where I'm going to have the camera uh, set up and everything. So bear with me for the next couple videos while I get that worked out. Um, yeah. So today we are making a love spell soap um it's a wonderful wonderful female fragrance um i've mostly seen it at like victoria's secret i fell in love with it years ago so we are going to make this soap today um before we get started um in case there's any craziness going on. First of all, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video because as you can see, I'm in a new workspace. Okay, this is just my oils and my clays. Um, I'm in a new workspace, so it took me some time to get everything situated, but um, I'm happy that I have it. I have way more room than I had in my kitchen at home. Um, I now have a closet for all my soap supplies and everything, so I will give you an updated tour once I'm 100% done. But I'm actually, but I'm done to the point where I can soap, but I'm not 100% done with my room. Um, I'm also going to ask you guys to pray for me and my husband. I um, just found out that my husband's uncle just recently passed. Um, I'm not going to give too many details because they're not cute. Um, it's, not, it's not a pretty situation um, that we are facing. So I just ask you guys, really keep us in prayer, you know. It, it just amazes me, you know, how the trolls come out when things are going south. Uh, so just keep us in prayer in regards to that. My husband is doing okay. Um, I did ask him if he wanted me to come home because my new soul space is not at home. It's at my dad's house, but he says he's fine. So uh, if he calls, I will stop this soap and the soap will sit wherever it is that it stands and then I will be at his side, but he said he's okay. Uh, so we are going to make this. This is one of my favorite recipes. Um, uh, I soaked this recipe on uh, a soap previously. I didn't do a making video of it, so I decided to do the same recipe. I got my uh, combination. I have uh, olive oil pomace, refined A, olive oil, castor oil, sodium lactate, kaolin clay, coconut oil, and palm oil in here. And I have my lye water with my silk in it along with some sugar for some extra bubbles and everything and we're just going to make this all nice and pretty. Um, I'm debating on putting some embellishments on the top. I do have some dry rosebuds that I just recently ordered. Um, I don't know. You know me. I don't plan my soaps. I just soap. So we'll see. This should be a good soap though because I make really, really, really pretty soap when I'm upset and I'm really, really upset right now. Um, <laughs> so let's get going. Um, I'm not trying to do too, 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 too much. Not a whole lot. Uh, let me get my gloves on. See, I love this. I don't have to run all over the place, moving stuff here, moving stuff there, picking this up there, and throwing that over there and everything, trying to get myself situated to make my soap, you know. I got this wonderful countertop. I only paid $25 for this. If you are a new soaper and you're looking for good deals for soaping, Craigslist. I found this on Craigslist. This entire countertop, uh, the countertop, it has cabinets, it has drawers, it has this little cutout if I want to put a little chair there and make it like a desk workspace or whatever. $25 on Craigslist. I had to drive a half hour away to go pick it up, but who cares? It was $25. This uh, piece was in a ophthalmologist's office. It was a custom ordered piece. And it's got some good weight to it and everything, so I am going to be taking very good care of this. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not quite at full water. I am doing... 
um, I think a 10% water discount with an 8% super fat. So this is going to be a luxurious soap. It's going to be really nice for the winter time because it gets really, really dry here uh, in Chicago in the winter time. So I up my super fat just a little bit. Because uh, I, I, I like not having to put on any lotion or anything like that. I'm just checking my lye water. This is my lye water with my tussle silk and my sugar. <laughs> Make sure I didn't need to strain that. I didn't want to do, I've been working with a, 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 a nice steep uh, water discount, but I didn't want to do that here because this is my first time soaping here. And it's just a tad bit warm in here, just a little bit, not too bad. It's not too bad. It's a muggy day outside, so I gotta get a, um, I gotta get a fan in here, which my dad has, so I will be bringing a fan here very soon. recipe can get kind of thick so I just want to mix this to emotion and hopefully I won't have too many oils. I plan on going a full loaf um two and a half pound loaf and a guest loaf um last time I did this very same recipe um I had enough just for some samples which is really all I'm looking to get out of this so our colors is going to be, uh, the base color is going to be a nice creamy white, uh, purple and pink or red depending on how I feel as the color blends up. So, I think I want more purple than anything though. I mean, a little bit more purple than my red. So that's going to be that. And if it stays this fluid, then I will be perfectly content uh, with doing a drop swirl. And I just realized I didn't add my fragrance, but it's quite alright. Go ahead and get the fragrance poured out here. Um, oh, that smells really good. I'm going to do, this is a two and a half pound bag, so I'll do about two ounces of fragrance. I don't know what this is going to do because, yet again, I'm in my new space, so, and with all that going on with my uncle, I just had to, I had to get in here and soap, so I'm totally winging it. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to discolor, is it going to accelerate, I don't know what it's going to do, so, okay, so rah, so rah. Um, it'd be nice if they at least put on bottles, you know, whether or not it, uh, whether or not it's going, it has vanilla in it, because at least I would have known um, whether or not to add my vanilla stabilizer, but it's okay. I'm going with the flow here. That smells really good. Um, I don't know. To me, it doesn't exactly smell um, immediately like what I would want it to smell like. Um, it's all right. We'll, we'll just fake it till we make it. So this is going to be our purple, and I hope that I'm in frame and that you guys can see me because my camera is uh, it's up higher than normal, and I cannot see the screen. It doesn't have one of those flip screens, so I do know that I'm going to have to invest. Well, I plan on investing in a new camera, anyways. Uh, because of the issues that I have with how this records. I want it to just be able to record as long as I need to in HD. I don't want it to have to stop and all of that, yada, yada. That gets on my nerves. Hey, man, you want some chicken noodle soup? 
Uh, yeah, go ahead and make this out, Daddy. Uh, yeah, my papa. I know my papa. He gave me this beautiful soapy space. And helped me find all the furniture I need to put in it. My uh, He uh, helped me find tables so I could start doing markets. Uh, he found me a desk, a nice leather chair. Actually, this piece here is the only piece that I got on my own. My uncle gave me uh, a china cabinet uh, to cure my soap in. And I am just like a happy little princess now. Okay, so now here comes Red. These bottles, I, I try to cover them up with paper towel before I shake them and everything because, I mean, this stuff, if you accidentally pop that open, it's going to fly everywhere. Now, what I mean everywhere, I mean it's going to go everywhere. You know what? I'm thinking that's going to be too shallow for this. See, this is what happens when you don't plant salt, people. <laughs> this is what you get. last especially when dealing with titanium dioxide because it makes the batter move faster and I'm probably just going to use all of this oh sorry I bumped you to them. I like a lot of fruity scents and I love rose and lavender and jasmine. Love those scents. Um, but um, I just don't feel like we're fighting with a rose scent. Florals move really fast but a rose scent? Oh my word. so used to having them on the countertop but I got drawers now so 
<laughs> I just made sure to spray it real good before I go. Okay. So, we are set to go here. Everything smells beautiful. Here's our mold. Mold number one and mold number two. Okay? Alright. Um, like I said, you know me, I do not plan. Um, so we're just going to go with it. Let's start with the white base. I don't want to do a whole lot on this one because I already know I'm not going to get that filled all the way up, I don't think. Okay. Do that. Purple is next, I guess. thicken up on me. We'll just take the skewer through it. Um, I don't do that very often at all, so. Oh, yeah. Drop that down in that color. Woo! Yes! That's going to be pretty. Just 
put some color down on the top and give that a swirly do. I love the colors. It turned out really pretty. Nice and simple. Some purple up there. So I hope everyone is having a great day. Um, it's gloomy here. It rained today, and then Corey's uncle's passed. And I really think that uh, he was holding out for Corey's sister to come up from Mississippi. She was just here uh, this weekend, and actually she left going back home on yesterday. You know, it's funny how how it happens like that. You know, you have a loved one that. They know they're going to go, even though they are, you know, he was in denial about going and everything. But I really think that he held on to see Carmen. Because um, he doesn't have any children. So my husband and Carmen was the closest thing that he was going to have to kids. So. The wind just opened my door and it creeped me out of it. <laughs> still recording you know I can't see the screen up there and I don't know how long it's taking to do this I know I'm normally a pretty slow soaper I'm trying not to be so slow I know okay so we're going to get the rest of this white down in here so we can get some color on the top and get that swirled up see I'm not going to fill that whole mold I somehow knew that I wouldn't some glittery glittery on top. And then we're going to put this one to bed. And I'm starting to get a little hot. Get them a little bit. That's just because I'm used to being under the fan when I'm soaping or under my air conditioner. I don't have that here. And me personally, I just think it's a little too late in the season to be turning back on the AC. My dad offered if I wanted him to turn it on, he would, but I don't want him to. He spoils me. I'm so spoiled. It is not even funny how spoiled I am, you guys. Okay. Make sure we get it all in there. Okay. 
Okay, so of course my camera still cut off, but it's all right. We're all done. That is Love Spell. And I will see you guys at the cut. I'm going to clean up and make more soap. And I'll post pictures onto Facebook and onto Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.